Hey, and welcome. Thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. So I'm not sure if you've seen, but on my blogs lately, I have been kind of obsessed with making pockets for gift cards onto a lot of my projects. With holidays coming up, I thought it would be great to be able to give some of my projects along with a gift card. And some of the projects that I am using do not have a spot for a gift card, so why not add one? So what I'm about to show you is how I create a pocket for a gift card. Now you don't have to just use this procedure for a gift card. Um, you can put obviously anything in a pocket, so anything that you want to create a pocket for. Some things that I was thinking of would be fun is in the springtime if you're giving out cards, you could put a packet of seeds, um, you know, things like that. You know, maybe if you are giving a gift to somebody and you can slide some candy into the project, that would be great. Um, so pockets are universal and you can use them for whatever and they can be pretty much any size and shape. So what I'm about to show you is just a basic pocket that I created and here we go. So the first thing I want to do is, to me it helps to visualize the actual gift card. And so a gift card is three and three eighths by two and an eighth. So let's draw that out. And I'm gonna use my, um, up here it has the width and the height. I'm gonna go ahead and put the actual dimensions in there. So um, three and three eighths comes out to 3.375 and two and an eighth comes out to 2.125 inches. And so there's my gift card. Perfect, okay. I am going to just for visual purposes color it so we know that this is the gift card. I'm going to make a second square because in my mind I now I'm going to make the pocket. So now I've made the gift cards as a reference and now I'm going to make the pocket. So I kind of want the obviously the gift or the pocket to be just slightly bigger than the gift card so that it slides in easily, but I don't want it to go full to the full top. So I'm going to guesstimate it here. So for the side, that looks pretty good for the sides. Um, I might just drag it down just a little bit because I want a little bit of the uh, gift card peeking out and just in mine. That seems good. And then I will drag this up a little bit. So about that, that's, that's about what I want my pocket size to be. So I'm going to move the gift card off to the side and I'm also going to move a copy of this. And to make a copy, if, um, if you hold down the Alt key, you'll see that it changes. The little plus arrow and a little tiny arrow there. If I hold the Alt key down and then I right click on my mouse, I can drag a copy. So I kind of want that copy. First thing I want to do is I know that if I have a pocket here, I'm going to need some tabs. And if I'm going to have some tabs, I'm going to need some score lines to fold the tabs. So in my mind, I'm going to create those score lines first. So I'm going to click on those. I'm going to go over here to my line style window on the right. And it can it's the, um, the fourth icon down. And so I already have that window open. I'm going to go ahead and use the third one down. So those are my score lines. Now, I only need score lines on three of the sides. I don't need score lines on the top. The easiest that I've found to do this is if I go to my knife tool. And I'm going to show you a little trick. If you just use the knife tool by itself, your line can go all over the place. I don't want that. If I hold the shift key down and I line it just right here, if I hold the shift key down, it's going to give me a straight line. And when I let go, it cut it. So now I don't have that line anymore. So now I only have the three sides. Now, if for some reason your, um, let me show you. If for some reason your, if you cut it a little bit too far, it's just going to separate it, and you can go ahead and delete that. I just happen to get it right where it just. Um, deleted it for me. So there you go. Let's get rid of this one. 
because that was my example. So now I have the score lines for my tabs. And again, I already have a copy of, I've made a copy of this for a reason and I'll show you now. So now, if I drag this back and it's easy just to, um, to center it. So if right here is my center. So if I center the middle and I center it horizontal and vertical, it's perfectly where it was. So now those are, my score lines are on top of my pocket. So now I need to make the tabs. And so I'm going to create some more rectangles. Now the first thing I want to do is click on that. And so I see here that my height is 1.767 and my width is 3.661. And I'm going to use those in just a second. So let's create the box or the tabs on the side. So I would say that's a pretty good width of a tab. Now the height of the tab I want to be the same as this. So 1.767. Let's change that to 1.767. So now I have the same height. These two should match up. Now the thing about tabs is when you fold them you don't want them hitting each other because I'm gonna have three tabs and I don't want this to hit the other tabs. So if I double click, now I have these four corners. If I click on this one and I hit the down arrow, let's say 10 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I click on the bottom one and I click the up arrow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, now I have a tab that if I close it, it's not going to interfere with the tabs on the bottom. So what I want to do is actually make a duplicate of this. So if I, again, I hold my Alt key, I can drag this over to the other side because I'm going to use the same exact one on the other side. If I right click and I flip it horizontally, now it's perfect. Now I just need to join these two together. So let me um, get them close to each other. And the easiest thing to do is to highlight them all. And let's use the, um, the horizontal center align. So let's click that. And now I know they're, they're all going to be in align perfectly. And so that I can see it better, let's zoom in. So if I, cl I clicked this little mouse with the plus button on it, and I'm going to highlight the area I want to zoom in, and it zooms in. So now all I have to do is click it. And I want this to overlap just slightly. So just about that. And this one looks pretty close, but I think I want to go one more over. So I'm just using my arrow keys. And now if I highlight, I actually want one more thing that I should have told you guys earlier. Um, the width of this is 0.484. And that looked pretty good to me. So let's remember that. And you could actually, if you wanted to, let's just copy this and bring this down. And if I hold, if you hover over the little um, green icon, it's going to turn into an arrow, kind of with a, a circle arrow. If you hold the shift key down, it's going to rotate in increments of, it'll lock in increments of 45. So it's snapped there. And if I snap it one more time, it snaps. So now I've turned it on its side, which is might get a little funny because if you look up here, it's going to tell me the width is 0.484, while looking at it on screen, it looks like my width is 1.767. But because I turned it on its side, it still thinks that this is the width and that is the height, if that makes sense. So. We're just going to keep that in mind because now what I want to do is if I click on this one, 3.661, that's the size that I want to make this. So I'm going to make that 3.661. So now that should be the same size. And if I hover that, I 
That looks just about right. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight these two, these three, right click, and weld. Perfect. So now I have one, the center uh, pocket with two tabs. And now I'm going to bring the bottom tab in. And the easiest way to do that is to zoom in a little bit more again. Now let's just nudge it up there. One more time, let's zoom in. There we go. Maybe one too far. Perfect. Let's zoom out. Okay. And now I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld. So now that is my pocket with the tabs. Now let's take this and let's slide this in. And let's use our horizontal tools. And it looks like I had that pretty close because I was doing it horizontally. And it looks like that lined up pretty well. And so now, if I were to cut this, it's going to cut out my pocket on the solid lines. And on the dashed lines is going to be my fold lines. So these are actually going to turn into the tabs. And so basically what you would do is fold these three tabs down away from you and those would be glued underneath the pocket holding it onto the paper. So um, basically you'd be putting glue on these parts of the tab and again those would be folded under to the bottom side of the pocket onto your project. And then if you bring your gift card over your gift card would slide right in there, leaving a little bit at the top like we wanted and a little room on the side so it actually fits. Um, so that is it. That is how I have been creating the pockets for my projects. Again, you could make your pockets in pretty much any shape and size. I'm going to go ahead and make this available to you. I will leave a link in the description box below and I will make this this um, this pocket available to you in studio format as well as SVG so that you can go ahead and use that if you're going to use a regular sized gift card and you needed a pocket I will make that free for you it will be on my blog um, if you do have any pockets that you make from this procedure please let me know put them in the, the um, description the comments below. I would love to see them. Again, um, I really appreciate you guys joining me today. I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and give me a comment and subscribe so that I know you are enjoying the content that I'm bringing you. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Have a great day.